Hi, this coming Thursday the 21st is Squirrel Appreciation Day. I'm Rita Goldner, children's book author and illustrator, and as you may have guessed, I'm jumping the gun a few days on the festivities to help you celebrate Squirrel Appreciation Day with a video to show you how to sketch one and some fun scientific facts about squirrels. Now granted, a lot of my relatives and friends have squirrels, especially if they live in the rural areas, that are running in and out of their house if they accidentally open the door too long. So those people don't actually appreciate squirrels like I do, but I'm a wildlife enthusiast and I hope you'll all enjoy the sketching video and become wildlife enthusiasts too. The supplies you'll need are just a red pencil, a regular black pencil, and a black marker if you want. You don't need an eraser. I'm starting with a picture of a squirrel that's very simple that you can break down into familiar shapes like a circle, a triangle, an oval, rounded off squares, or whatever you want, just your familiar shapes. You can just show yourself the shapes with a red pencil or a red crayon. Don't even think of them as swirl body parts, just think of them as shapes. And while you're doing this, I'm going to tell you some fun facts about squirrels. There are 285 species of squirrels all over the world, and they are in every single continent except Antarctica and Australia. They even have them up in the Arctic Circle, where they're the only warm-blooded mammal that can survive at really low body temperatures. They bury themselves under the snow and they last through the winter, even in the Arctic Circle. Squirrels are so clever, especially with the food, that they can find food buried beneath a foot of snow. So this helps them if they happen to be living in the Arctic Circle. If you happen to have a backyard bird feeder, you've probably seen how clever squirrels can be when they're trying to find food. They'll climb up the pole. If you have your feeder on a pole, or they'll climb up a tree and shinny down a little rope to find the bird food. And speaking of bird feeders and squirrels, I've put a cute little game, a link to a game you can play in the description under this video. And it's a game about a squirrel trying to get food out of a bird feeder. But back to the fun facts about squirrels and especially about their food. They will take a nut or an acorn or a piece of food and bury it. And they have them buried in several different locations. And they lose about 25% of their buried food to thieves. The thieves usually are other squirrels. You can see here I've taken another piece of regular paper and I'm using that to copy the shapes that I outlined on the picture of the squirrel. So therefore you build up these shapes and if you make a million mistakes, don't erase them. Okay, to get back again to talking about the thieves stealing the buried nuts. The thieves are other squirrels. And squirrels are so smart that when they bury their nuts and they know other squirrels are watching them, they'll pretend to bury a nut in an empty hole to try to fool the thieves into looking there instead of finding the real buried treasure. So some other fun facts are that squirrels are only an inch long when they're born and are very dependent on their mothers. They don't have any fur and they can't see or hear. So the mothers will feed them for several weeks until they're able to walk around by themselves. You'll notice on my drawing that I took a regular dark 
black pencil, a regular number two pencil, and I started going over the lines that I like and just ignoring the lines that I don't like. So if I made a lot of mistakes with the red lines, that's okay, I just ignore them. And you can see here, I'm making the leg, the top part of the leg, a lot skinnier than it was with my red pencil because I realized after looking at it that I didn't want it. Squirrels have four toes on their front feet and they're very sharp and they can use those toes for gripping tree bark and climbing. They also have five toes on their back feet and they can turn their ankles 180 degrees to face the other way. They can face any direction they want so that helps them when they're climbing. So the red lines, even if they're mistaken lines, become guidelines for the black. To finish up the fun facts about squirrels, I just wanted to add that they are amazing creatures and they can leap 10 times their body length, especially when they're trying to escape predators. They zigzag across a field or across the woods in a really crazy pattern of running to escape their predators. By the way, if you have a favorite animal you'd like me to sketch, mention it in the comments below. I have a lot of animals as minor characters in my picture books, so I'll be looking for suggestions. So if you like to sketch animals and you like fun facts about the science of animals, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the little bell below so you'll be notified next time I post a video. Thanks for watching.